We have an emergency. I can't find my hat. I can't find my hat anywhere. I'm trying to find my hat, Henry. Have you seen it? I've looked everywhere. Another day we'll find my hat? This is not good. I feel like it's staring at me somewhere. Welcome back neighbors to another daily adventure. I did find my hat by the way. I'm Declan, that's Henry Milo is down over here. We help you to adventure always by putting out these daily vlogs on YouTube. Now I need to, hold on. I'm gonna need a lot of coffee today. Last night was easily the worst night we've had with Milo. He is sick. If you remember a couple days ago, I was all happy and proud that I got him down for a four hour nap. That wasn't me, that was probably a virus or some kind of sickness, I don't know. He was running the fever last night, even with uh, baby Tylenol. He, he was waking up every 45 to 60 minutes, taking quite a while to get back down, get settled down, so Eric and I were kind of taking shifts. Uh, and, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so hard. I'm not gonna let that stop us from making today an adventure. Today, I'm actually really excited. Let me uh, let me pull something up for you, neighbors. We're hopefully, as long as Milo's still okay, hopefully meeting up with a fellow named John Shanahan. He's a uh, Pittsburgher and a YouTuber as well. And he actually has a very successful YouTube channel called The Cavalier. He reviews uh, men's fashion, fashion products, hair, grooming, like, you know, that the, the modern gentleman, I would call him. It's gonna be quite an interesting juxtaposition with, with me, with my uh, screen printed t-shirts and my backwards baseball cap. No, he, uh, we, we, we crossed paths online. Uh, we had a couple, um, people that we, we, we both knew and we're like, hey, let's let's meet up. He has kids too, so we're just gonna take the kids to the museum, get to know each other. I'm looking forward to it. I don't really get to hang out with too many other dads, dad YouTubers, so that will be fun. I gotta feed this kid some breakfast, get him ready, and then head out and make today an adventure. Let's do it, neighbor. Let's go. I know we will, Henry. We're gonna look at the we're gonna look at the T-Rex. Where's your friends? I don't know. Can you go find them? Wait, you have to go find them. There they go. There they are. Yeah. This is John. <laughs> sad dinosaur. She said, "Oh, sad dinosaur." Oh. I just realized how much harder it's gonna be trying to converse with another adult and like have all the kids running around. <laughs> We've been flying through the museum trying to, uh, just trying to keep up with them. Well, we made it back home, neighbors. Did you have fun with John and your friends? Yep. No, I, I wish I would have like shared more, but John and I were outnumbered four to two, just watching all the kids, which is always a challenge for, for parents to like get together with their kids. Cause you're like, you're trying to have an adult conversation. Your kids are like gonna tear down a uh, pterodactyl skeleton or something. No, no, it wasn't like that. It was, it was, it was fun. It was fun. It was just really cool to, uh, to, to meet up with another YouTuber in Pittsburgh and just learn a little bit more about what he does and, and how he got to where he is. Yeah, it's just, I mean, that's like, that's an accomplishment to do YouTube full time and, and he's done it and uh, so it's just cool. So it was fun having John on the vlog. John, thanks again. Oh, we'll probably see him again. We're gonna try to do some more zoo trips and museum trips. Uh, oh, oh, it's almost your nap time. Oh, it's almost nap time. Oh, oh. Okay, I think I got Milo down, but Henry just woke up. So, gotta make some more coffee. Eric and I just had a conversation recently, like we've been dealing with Milo. I've just been so beat and just so tired. And I just keep telling her like, this is just so new and weird for me to like not have energy to just feel so beat down. I was like, why is this so hard? Like I'm, I'm just at home taking care of two kids. Like why is that such a hard thing to do? She brought up emotional labor. Then it just started clicking. Like the, the constant decision-making of like, when did Milo eat? When do I need to change him? 
Does he need medicine? Does Henry need to eat? There's all these like questions and routines and checklists that you're going through. And then like, you also have to provide emotional support for these <laughs> tiny humans because they're irrational. They don't quite understand the world. And you're, you're constantly like there to, to, to reinforce good behavior and just helping them to learn and grow. And, and you're just like pouring yourself out there. And so it's, it's, it's different in terms of work because it's it's this emotional work and it's something I've never done before because my old job which most of you probably are, are similar like you're presented with a problem and then it's your job to fix it or to find a solution and then pass on that solution to someone else and the nice thing is is that when you do fix something or do find a solution there's someone on the other end who's hopefully grateful for the work you did. And you, so you get this feedback, like you feel good because you're able to learn and tackle this problem. And then somebody appreciated you for that. And you don't get that with parenting. You don't get these like problems that require a solution that you can work out and then present the solution or implement it and see it fix. And these kids are not grateful, they're sweet kids, but they're not here like, thank you dad, thanks for helping me to learn how to use the potty, or thank you dad for feeding me even though I don't know how to speak English and I was hungry. I guess for me, the hardest thing so far has been making that switch from mental labor, which is what I did before, to emotional labor. And I thought the skills I learned in one area would would also apply to this other area, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't. I can't raise these kids by making a fancy spreadsheet. That's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it here. <laughs> oh. I'll make sure they don't get in. Is that silly? Yeah. Wait a minute. How do I know you're not a cat? I have two legs. You have two legs? How many how many legs do cats have? Four legs. Four. So if they have four and you have two, that means you're not a cat? Yep. Huh. Good job. Alright, neighbors, that concludes today's daily adventure. John, if you're watching, thanks for hanging out today. Hopefully we can uh, meet up again soon. Anyway, neighbors, uh, thanks again for coming along today's daily adventure. I'm really hoping I can get some sleep tonight. I just, I hope I can get some sleep tonight. We really need it. Uh, so, neighbors, don't forget, adventure always. And we'll see you again tomorrow for another daily adventure. Bye-bye. What are you? I, I, I have had two legs. Henry Wilson has two legs? Yep. You're not a cat? I need Hi, Will. Hi, I, 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 I